really hate. I really hate it when someone says, Hi, are you available around 10 a.m. so that I can give you an estimate? Yes, I am. I will make sure that I am available at 10 o'clock. Just for instance, today. So that you can give me an estimate for some work that I personally don't think needs to be done. 10 o'clock rolls around and nobody's there. Okay, sure. Whatever. 10.30 rolls around. Okay. Traffic. Accidents. Things happen. Be generous. 11 o'clock rolls around. Now, in this specific instance, I had actually forgotten. So, hey, you know what? 11 o'clock, fine. No big deal. No big deal. My fault, even. You know what? I was going to go run errands, but luckily I remembered. Okay, now I'm a hostage for 11.30, 12 o'clock. And of course, they're going to come right as I'm recording this video. You... <laughs> Nope, just the neighbors going out and running their errands. Oh, that's another fun thing about being held hostage for four hours waiting for someone to show up. You jump up at every noise that might be knocking on the door, tingling a link. Oh, was that a wind chime or was that a doorbell? Better run to the door. I wouldn't want to be rude. No. Wouldn't want to be rude. And then you decide to yourself, well, you know what? I guess I kind of have to start living my life and going about the rest of my day because nothing I can do and things got to get done. So videos need to be recorded, posted, and you know what? I think I want to go for a walk today. Now, the fun part of that is I get to go for a walk and feel guilty about it because maybe I'm missing this person who I'm sure was not just a uh, Unfortunate. I'm sure they just had a really bad day. I'm sure there was traffic and they had horrible, terrible experiences at other job sites. And that's why they were not able to make their commitment. And also completely outside of cellular service. So they weren't able to give any kind of calls or communication. That says, hey, I'm going to be late. Hey, I'm not going to make it today. Hey, what about 2 o'clock? What about 2.30? What about 11.30? What about tomorrow? What about... What about, what about... what about... Well, that didn't happen, so I'm sure that something horrible has happened. I'm sure something horrible has happened, because that's the only explanation. The wildly rare, totally impossible, implausible, never ever actually happens type things that break appointments. I'm sure that is what happened in this specific instance because it would never just be something rude. Like you made an appointment, didn't make it, and didn't care enough to notify the person that you're leaving in a lurch. Yeah, you know what? No, it was probably my fault. It was probably my fault. That's my other favorite part about this, is the guilt of going, you know what? Actually, I forgot. I mean, I wasn't waiting at the door at 10 o'clock. I'm sure I missed it. Now, I have a near preternatural sense of people knocking on the door. I can be dead asleep with earplugs in, a fan on, doors closed on another floor, and someone gives a slight tentative rap on the door, and I am, bam, dead awake down the steps at the door, 20 seconds. But I'm sure at this, this one point where I was actually not, didn't have headphones on, 
wasn't listening to music. Was was actually just quietly reading. Huh. I'm sure that I'm sure th I'm sure I missed it. I'm sure I missed doorbell ring notification knock on the door car door being slammed open slammed closed i'm sure i missed all of that as you might have uh noticed though uh, the neighbors getting their groceries out i i did hear that across the street i did i did hear that that did happen so i probably have never one time ever missed a door being knocked on in my entire life but you know what this one time i probably did yeah the supposed guilt that's also my that's also my favorite part about people missing their appointment that's that's so much fun it's a lot of fun Awesome. It's so much fun. I love it. Oh, it's 